Hello everybody, welcome to the midweek thought for the day, which is not very midweek this week, it's Friday, but that's because I'm working today. Um, so we're going to think about the passages that we've been thinking about this week and the poem that um, is from the Terry Waite book that we are thinking about to go with that this week. So the first reading that we had this week uh, was uh, Psalm 128. And it's in a little group of psalms about um, about family and what that means. This is uh, Psalm 128. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to him. You will eat the fruit of your labour. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Yes, this will be the blessing for the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. Peace be on Israel. So um, that's the Old Testament reading for today, uh, for this week. And then uh, we chose from uh, Matthew chapter 19, just two little verses. Uh, it's very famous though, very famous to, um, three verses 13 to 15 then people brought little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them but the disciples rebuked them Jesus said let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these when he had placed his hands on them he went from there so this week we've been thinking about children and the blessing which children are and how um, it doesn't necessarily, the children don't need to be our biological children. That's what I'm trying to say. So I feel very blessed that I, I have had children of my own, but also within the context of our community, particularly the Christian community, we have been involved in the lives of children and young people as they've grown up and those children and young people have been involved in the lives of our children as they've been growing up to build a bigger community, a bigger network of influence of children and young people. There's that saying, isn't it, that it takes a village to raise a child and uh, that's something that we have always thought about and been willing to take part in. So the villages where where I work, we have, uh, and before COVID, we had quite active children's work, where different generations were involved in physically being with children and families that they weren't biologically connected to, but they were connected to in the faith community. There are people that you will remember from your childhood who were not biologically connected to you, who were a great encouragement to you. And there will have been people who you encourage, who you strengthen and you build up. It is part of this, um, and I couldn't say this yesterday morning either, the reciprocity, reciprocity I can't say it again this morning, the kind of reciprocal nature of, of building up children and children being maturing and building up others and what that means for us as a Christian community. It may be that that for us is within a biological setting of our family or it may be that that is within a wider setting of our family. Um, so we have people who young people who have been godparents of our children who we knew when they were children and who now are godparents of their children and our children are godparents of their children and for the first time sort of maybe last year maybe about 18 months ago I sent one of my children to see one of their godparents for the first time I thought actually I hope that you will be helping your godparents today and that's how that has been working for us so a blessing a connectedness uh, this reciprocal arrangement of building up of blessing of people together through biological and non-biological families and you might be wondering what the poem's about that has uh, set me down this path so the poem again is from this Terry Waite book out of the silence 
and it's called Easter Holidays and it's when uh, Terry is reflecting on his family, his biological family, arriving to celebrate Easter at their house and how he feels about that and the emotions that it brings for him within that setting. It's called Easter Holidays. A holiday. My silence is invaded by laughing, excited children, glad to be released from the city, glad to be free in the countryside. Our old dog, stiff with age, ambles into familiar territory and finds her place under the kitchen bench. Her two lively companions chase into the garden, happy to return to old haunts. The family enter and litter the room with cases, food, clothes, homework. In a trice, a quiet haven is transformed into an emporium. Now, expected but without warning, the tsunami enters the vaulted kitchen. Bags pile on empty surfaces, fridge doors open and close, a kettle boils and mugs long unused line up for regular duty. I look at my children, always my children, even though the years have swallowed their youth. My daughter glances across the room. In a fleeting instance, I see my, mother's, my mother in her face, caught for a moment, then God gone. Sophie, a grandchild, carries the eyes of her grandmother. Here, assembled in this one room, generations, living and departed, gather to drink tea. In the brief time, they share space on earth. In these short days together, we will laugh, eat and drink, delight in new discoveries. I love them, love them all, but ambiguity reigns. My space is invaded, silence is absent, except in the dark reaches of the night. I am divided through and through, wanting to be one with all, yet holding to my own fragile identity. I continue to seek the tranquility and wisdom due to my years. Then the fractures in my soul run deep, protected by walls of silence. Soon the holiday will be spent, soon the tide will recede, soon silence will descend, soon I shall be alone with a fragile peace. Soon this day will be but a memory, soon mortal life will be spent. God grants that I may live fully whilst I yet have earthly time. So this week's midweek thought for the week about children, how we respond to children and how we build community. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.